In this question, we have two masses of five and one <clears throat> hanging from a smooth pulley at the end of a light string. The system's released from rest. And after two seconds, the five kilogram mass hits a horizontal table. How much further will the one kilogram mass rise? Okay, let's see what's going on here. We've got our five and we've got our one. We've got our string. We've got our MGs. In one G or just G, we have the five, it's going to go down obviously, it's heavier, so acceleration down that way for the five and in this way for the one. So our equations become 5G minus T is equal to 5A and we have T minus G is equal to A. So we're going to get 4G, the difference between the weights is equal to 6A, the addition of the weights A is going to be 4G over 6 so 2g over 3 ms to the minus 2. now we can get the common speed <clears throat> v is equal to u plus at just as the five kilogram mass hits the table v is going to be the starting from rest plus the acceleration 2g over 3 times time is two seconds so the speed is going to be 4g over 3 meters per second so what's happening with the one kilogram mass now? The one kilogram mass is going to go up. It's going to continue to rise. So we're asked how much further. So we're looking for S. We have the speed of this one kilogram mass. It's going to be the same speed as the five when it hit the table. It's going to come to rest before it starts coming back down. And we're asked how much further it will rise. So what's stopping it? Well, gravity is stopping it, so it's going to be minus g, v squared, v u a s, so v squared equals u squared plus 2a s. So we're going to get 0 is equal to the 4g over 3 to be squared plus twice minus g times s. So we're going to get 2g s is equal to 16g squared over 9. 18 gs is equal to 16 g squared you can simplify this quicker obviously if you wanted we're going to get s is equal to 16 g over 18 which is 8 g over 9 in meters then we're asked the one kilogram mass then falls and the five kilogram mass is jolted off the table what will the speed what will what with what speed will the five key kg begin to rise so this is the conservation of momentum m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 now this one and two are going to be the same so we just call them v it's going to be the same speed so what's going on here we have our one kilogram has to be moving at a speed this is before the five kilogram begins to move at that rest. And that's going to be equal to the five plus one times velocity on the right hand side. So what is the speed of this one kilogram mass before the five begins to move? Well, if we look here, this was the speed before it went up, stopped and came back down. And at this exact point again, the strings will become taut again. So it's going to be the same speed with only gravity at play. So this is four G over three. So we're going to get 18v is equal to 4g so the new speed is going to be 4g over 18 which is 2g over 9 meters per second